Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Party Chat. It's been it's been about a week, and if you want the answer to that, just say L Brandon in the chat and in the comments, because he had to borrow the camera. He had to borrow it, so he couldn't shoot it. But we've got quite a bit to cover, and from going from a Star Wars open world game, which I'm sure Cheek is a, a big Star Wars fan, so he's yeah. super happy about that. Can't um, wait, can't wait. Xbox is like, yo, we're starting up our next gen, uh, no. and all the Xbox fans went... They no, care. we don't care. They don't care. <laughs> Get like we got. Our game Pass is gone. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you, sold, you sold us out. <laughs> Where are your games? Like what next? What old gen games are you bringing over to your next gen console? It's like your list is nothing. So I don't. I don't know about that one. And then movies, we've got some crazy controversy. Marvel just can't seem to, like stay out of it for some reason. Fantastic Four. We got a Silver Surfer casting that. We got a lot of people going. Oh yeah, dude, are we serious? Like, what do we? What you re, you released a casting and they were like, okay, maybe we're going back in the right direction. And they're like, thank you, we're not. Here, here's our <laughs> Silver Surfer casting for whatever reason. Fallout gotcha. drops this week. Joker two dropped the trailer this week. Gotcha. Fallout comes out tonight. I just said that. Uh, Daredevil finished up rapping. We got a lot to go over. Uh, we'll start with gaming as usual. Whew. Rank's been going good. Uh, that's pretty much all we've been playing, and then I'll tie into, I guess, probably our first story that we're going to talk about. So you see that poll put out by uh, IGN, where it was kind of like 60% of games oh, yeah. played in 2023 are played like, on games like six years yeah, and like older. older games, no newer games. That's a, it doesn't surprise me, like I, actually, because yeah. every new game that's come out has been dog water, like bought, like no one's like everyone plays it for like a month. Yeah. Not even, and then everyone's done with it. They just go back to what they're used to. Uh, and we went over that before yeah, and everything. we talked about it before, like with the finals and all that. Like, Yeah, you want to talk about it real quick? I'm going to type in chat. Yeah, people go back to what they're comfortable with. Like, no one wants to play a new game, and, you know, it gets a hype for, like, like I would say the finals, for, for instance. Like, finals is great. I enjoyed it. But, like, you know, as time goes on... I like yeah. People go back to you know the Fortnite, the Apex, the Warzone. It's like, so hard to make your mark right now. Yeah, with gaming. like it's I, I and I envy the finals for doing honestly really well with it. But it's I, I don't know how do you keep attention because at the, at the end of the day the finals was good. It was a great game. It was different. It was new. And after a month we all went back to Apex. Right. Like like so it's the it's just a problem or like people are still playing Fortnite. Is it because the community's bigger? It's because there's a big, people, like people uh, just go back to what they're comfortable with. Like well-known streamers, like a lot of well-known streamers aren't playing the finals. Maybe there will be someday, uh, but as of right now, like if I want to watch content for a video game, I'm like running up Fortnite content. I'm running up Apex content. Maybe a little COD content for Nick Merckx or something. This man watches Nick A30. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Jack. No. Okay, I wasn't watching yeah. Nick A30. Yeah. I was, I was watching Courage no, JD no. do a video, and Nick A30 was in it. But he walked in, and Nick A30 was on screen, like <laughs> fantasizing about Fortnite skins. And that then, like, was the wildest <laughs> video I've ever caught him watching. In 4K. I was Dude. like, what is happening? Guys, I know I'm not the only one that still watches Fortnite content. I don't play the game, but, like, I still watch, like, Clicks. I'll watch Cypher PK all the time. And then maybe some Courage or whatever. I don't know why. I think it's just, like, I throw it on while I'm working. It's, like, background content sometimes. But he had to come down and, like, Nick830 Nick. is getting a lap dance from a Fortnite skin. Oh, I, I was like, like, I thought he was family friendly. I'm like, what is happening on this screen right now? I was like, yo. And he's like, like and Nick is like into it too. He's like, yeah. Yo, <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Justin, if you're one of the people watching live, dude, don't. I didn't, don't believe anything Cheek says, dude. Crazy, bro. That's, I don't want to get cooked Straight like 4K that. Straight 4K was wild. But it's. It, it is true, though. I don't trust a lot of stuff. Uh, what's it called? Uh, IGN puts out. I don't like a lot of the reviews, polls, or much of anything, honestly. Mm. But they, yeah, they got a point. Like they're, they're not wrong. There are some games that, like, make their mark, like Helldivers 2 and Power, which uh, uh, we'll get into a little bit later. But uh, when it comes to PvP-wise and stuff, uh, no game is stamped their mark. Yeah. Right? No new game has. Maybe the last one to do that was Valorant. Oh, yeah, Val on Valorant, at this point, Valorant's but, old. Yeah. And it's one of those games now. Wait, when did Valorant come out? Valorant's been out for a while. Wait, that probably came yeah. out back when we first moved in. Yeah, that is not, like, at least... <laughs> Justin just said he caught us in 4K. <laughs> Justin, chill, chill. <laughs> Valorant's been out for a while. Like, yeah, that's right. 
what about this new game that like Timmy and Shroud? Let me know if you guys heard about this one. Timmy, like Shroud, and a lot of these streamers, XQC. I won't be honest. It's gonna be one of those games as well. I think so too. I think. Like it's no like it's copying like we this we yeah played it. I played of. so I did have alpha access uh, to. I can't show gameplay of it because right, of yeah. NDA reasons and stuff. But I did play it and I was like. I'm not blown away. Like, I'm yeah, not looking for it. Because you made me pay for this game. I'm not spending a dime. It's nothing crazy. I didn't see it was anything like... So, I, I'm like, I don't know. Um, there's still... The, the next hope for the next good game, I think, or Battle Royale, is called Project V. And that was announced a year ago. But the people behind it is Tim the Tapman, Cypher PK, Ninja, Nick Merckx, and then maybe, like, Dr. Dr. Looper or something. Is this, is this his project? Not his game, no. Okay. And then, like, Dr. Looper or something like that. So, those five and Unreal Engine 5 are making a game. But they haven't made any major announcement yet. Chad, let me know if you guys remember, like, Project V, like, a ninja and all them announcing this game and stuff. It's still going to be a thing. But, yeah, there's there's no... uh, Justin's right. There's no updates on it, sadly. But I'm... That's my next big hope because that's kind of, like, the some of the bigger content creators right now for, like, gaming and stuff. So, but if they can't do it, then who's going to do it? Some random Ubisoft? Some random no. no. <laughs> Justin's going to hate me for my take on the Star Wars Ubisoft game, but, like, I don't... Well, the open world game? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, Companies are just, like, striking out, like, Ubisoft. Like, uh, what, Skull and Bones? Who's running nah. Skull and Bones? Who's running Suicide Squad that just dropped recently? No one is. Like, uh, so so a lot of these games are just falling off, and so I, it doesn't surprise me that Fortnite's still up there. Right. Roblox is up there, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, Minecraft is up there. Roblox then you got Apex, then you got COD, and then you Valorant. Uh, and then I guess maybe like Siege or whatever, but there you've had like the same five. Jinxie like, revived Siege so much. Yeah. That game was just plummeting to nothing. And Jinxie is the sole reason why Jinx, like uh, Siege is like I think so too. up there now. Like People actually play it and like... Kind of have fun playing it. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't really hear much about Siege until later. I'll get, we'll get the Star Wars in a, in a minute, Justin. But I, I, it's been like the same five for a while. Yeah, right, yeah. It's like, and then they have their ups and downs. Apex, like two or three years ago, had I think some of its biggest numbers ever with ALGS, and then like Nick Merckx when he was in the prime grinding mm-hmm. over there, and some other streamers. But then now it's kind of like, kind of back to where it's plateaued right, and yeah. just and it just stays, despite the massive overhaul with last season. Fortnite's always going to be popular because, I mean, everyone – the new advertising for, like, shows and movies and games is Fortnite, whether you like it or not. The Anime skin for everything. on there. They just dropped Avatar skins Fortnite on there. There's skins. an Avatar update. That's There's... one thing Fortnite does very well, the skins and collabs they do. Like, I mean, people buy them. Like, yeah. Oh, every, yeah. Every time. I think well, – on what skin did they just drop recently? Korra? Korra. Yeah. Avatar. Avatar Korra. And people, like, were telling me about it. Like, I bought Korra. Some girl was telling me about it. She, like, she the girls that don't even play it. They don't even touch don't the even game. Play and the Core game. dropped. And she sent me <laughs> a pic of her buying a Core skin and playing Fortnite. I'm like, you don't even know how to play Fortnite. Yeah, I. And she, she's sitting there, the giant 65 inch TV, all the way back playing. Losing Fortnite. to the first person she yeah, comes against. Like, but still bought Core and still hopped on. Yo, bro. let us know if that was you. Low key, let us know if you're still playing <laughs> Fortnite, which is fine. I I get it. I don't still play Fortnite. I probably would if I hopped on their ranked mode. What game updates more? Like, you want fresh, consistent content. Why would you not be on Fortnite? Right. Like, it's just... I don't want to say we grew out of it, but, like, if all if all of our friends were playing it right now, playing ranked, like, if Justin and Isaac were, we would hop over, realistically, mm. maybe for a little bit and see if we... Not build mode, right. but I think I no build, mean. we definitely would. No so, build was fun. And yeah. I, I enjoyed playing no build. Like, if I started playing the ranks, I would get, like, addicted to, like, grinding the ranks and then stuff like that. I just having it. But... You want updates every two weeks, every month, and meta changes and gun changes right. and all this stuff. Yeah, I see why it's still so popular. Other games can't keep up, uh, like like other battle royales and Apex and COD. COD has having massive cheater problems. So like, what is going on I mean, and as, everything like as that. Usual. Doctor Disrespect is ready to just break the <laughs> game in half at this point. He doesn't even want to play it. Like it's the crazy thing is like I'll watch Nick Merck's videos and it's like three out of the four uploads for the week is like. Crazy insane hacker does this, or like mm-hmm. spectating a hacker, right. or like number one hacker. Does, and I'm like, dude, like, go clip farming. <laughs> yeah, just spectating. Then Tim does the same thing. Like, exactly. Like, like spectates a hacker. Or a but dude, if you're getting, and I get it, that's their job. Mm-hmm. And I like, I would do the same thing for content and everything. 
but I feel bad playing all day. And then it's like, like you're all, another like, one. Every game, just a hacker. Like, like how do you even have fun playing it? Like, so it's just, it's just nuts. Like those of you that play Warzone, some of you probably do. Let, let me know if it's really that bad. Probably for the casuals, for the people that aren't playing it all the time, it's not that bad. But dude, we're we're kind of casuals, maybe slightly above for Apex. Sometimes we'll get hackers and ranked and stuff, and it's just like, it's so frustrating. It's like, dude, it's like, I only have a certain amount of time, only a certain amount of games I can play a day, and then it's just like, like the okay. hacker, yeah. here's this. Okay, I'm done. I get it. it's just a video game. Oh no, I lost ranked points. But dude, it sucks. Like I'm grinding, I'm playing the game right, and you just they, come in and blow. And an then now eight, I'm dropping ranks and aim bot Jimmy over there just the havoc beaming me from across the map. I'm like okay, bro. It's like, yeah, thanks. You did such a good job. Like, way to go. I So, I don't, yeah. That's that's yeah. my thoughts on that. I'm not surprised with that article. It's an article yeah. I actually agree with, agree with IGN. Don't know what you have to do. I wish I had an answer to be like, yo, make this game and it'll pop off. But, but like, a strategic 5v5? One of the problems is, like, when games come out now, it's like, people just, people want to be the next ninja. The big guy, yeah. The next big guy. So, everyone just grinds the game. Like when finals came out, like everyone was grinding the game, trying to be the best, and all and all that, and like yeah, you know. and they they did it right too. They came out with the ranked mode like immediately. Yeah, but I don't, it's I don't know what needs to stick or what needs to change. But I don't. Everyone just goes back to the old games eventually with new updates. I don't know stuff. what you have to with everything, and it's still, I think it has to be like a new. Which the finals did that, like a new concept. I know. But like I don't know what else. Even with like. The, the environment being breakable and all this crazy stuff yeah. going on and abilities and, and strategic play and all this stuff, it still just didn't hold. So I don't know what to do. Should it be some type of I, another Valorant game mode, but like a longer time to kill and everything like Is that? Is that a Valorant game mode? Yeah, like a 5v5 strategic. What was that? There, do you remember this game that was supposed to be coming out? I can't remember, but it was made by like... Ubisoft and like Splinter Cell and like Activision and stuff, and then it was supposed to be like a COD killer, and it was some type of game. But oh, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about a uh, dang. What's it called? Did you say it? Is this someone saying it in the chat? Nah. Dang, what was that? That what happened to that game? I don't know what you're talking about. I played the game. Yeah, yeah. We, I think we played beta yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were they just like, yeah, we're cooked? I don't know. They were supposed to come out. Yeah. It when COD was coming out, you know, it's a rival with COD, but you just. When ghost, choked or whatever, yeah, it just went silent. Like I don't know what happened. With that. I don't know what happened to that one. If that one yeah, worked or something like that. X Defiant. X Justin put in X chat. Thanks, X Justin. Defiant. X Defiant. X Defiant. That game. Oh yeah, X Defiant. Whichever one it was. Justin just said the Marvel game looked good. No. <laughs> yeah, just, just leave chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheek's not a fan of, of it. We'll see. I might play that the beta or something with you, Justin. And see how it is. I think it's free to play, so we can probably run it and see how it goes. But uh, let's move on to the Star Wars open world game. <laughs> he said uh, trolling. <laughs> We're not trolling. The Star Wars open world game. Okay. What's your thought of that game? If you like Star Wars, you're so hyped for this. You're excited. You're hyped. Uh, but I, if a lot of people who are Star Wars out just aren't about it. But I will say the single player Star Wars games have been pretty good recently. To the point where they're getting nominated for like Game of the mm -hmm. Year and so, like uh, uh, the, the Star Wars Jedi ones, uh, Fallen Order or something like that. The one that just came out. Yeah, one came out a little bit I ago. Think it is Fallen Order. Yeah, and then the one yeah. before that, both really good Star Wars games. Uh -huh. It'd be like single player games and Star Wars. Like that's right. awesome. But they just Star Wars re-released Battlefront two a little bit ago, and it was a complete disaster. Mm -hmm. Like enchant, like people couldn't load a match or anything, and they charge you a full like forty bucks for it to play it again. And it didn't even work. Uh, yeah, Justin made a comment that it, it may be underwhelming because there is no lightsabers, which could be true because you're kind of in the underbelly of the Republic and everything like that and, and kind of doing these tasks and open world missions and stuff. I guess would say like Skyrim, but Star Wars, but not as in depth as Skyrim, right. obviously. But if you wanted to compare it to something, then I would say that maybe, maybe with lightsabers, what they'll do is like, it's not the predominant weapon, but you go and do this side mission and it goes down later on and like and to what, a dungeon. In this, in this new game? Yeah. So I watched so I watched an eight minute like game review. Like because this guy, so I guess the, U Ubisoft yeah. gave him like a new like trailer, like an yeah. actual trailer. So I watched eight the video and like he they broke it all down. So it looks interesting. I'm not going to... Yeah. It, it's not awful. It's not the worst no. idea ever. It I agree as well. 
Um, so like you can make you know how like what's that game? Uh, like when you make decisions, like there's no good or bad decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, like based off of like. But also, is it what you make uh, affects you later <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right. You can be like a have positive, uh, like a negative, like review and all that, and it affects you know how the game will end and all that. So I guess there's gonna be different endings and stuff like that. It didn't look awful. Yeah, I will say, but the same. But for the price of. Seventy dollars <laughs> starting. You can get it cheek. The price goes all the way up to one forty. Are you out of your mind? That's that is a lot of money. One forty I mean, for a Star Wars fan. That's nothing. Right? You don't. Right? I mean, <laughs> I get it. You don't have to buy it, but one forty, and it's like, but you get the DLC and this and this and that. Like right. seventy bucks is a lot right now for a game. That's. I think that's a lot with the base game. Like most base games, newer games. Yeah, seventy dollars. So that's that's my main problem with it is the pricing. It's games are so expensive nowadays. They like are. seventy bucks is nuts. That used to be like the middle tier. Like if you were gonna buy the game yeah, or something used to like be that. Like fifty. Yeah. Sixty. Now it's just like it's upwards of like seventy <laughs> to seventy five if you're buying a new game, and that's it. May not affect Star Wars because Star Wars already has a fan base. But I think if it wasn't Star Wars and they were like, here's this open world sci fi game, I don't think it sells. What, the Dune game? Dude, I mean, the Dune's, Dune game is lucky it's free to play, I think. <laughs> what, what if it's $70? Well, I don't know because Dune has a, fa- a big fan base now. If it's $70, nobody's buying that. Yeah, I'm not buying it, that's no for shot. sure. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not buying that. But there is, like, I don't know. Um, 70 bucks a lot. I think it will sell. I think it will do good. But I, I don't know. The, the price is kind of scummy all the way up to 130 But it's like you get – we'll give you three what days DLC access. What are they giving you? Uh, it's probably like here's some skins and three day access early, and then you get a month of like Ubisoft Plus, or whatever. Nobody wants that. What? Like, I'm not joking. That, that that like that's what it's that's what it is. That's crazy. And I get it. Like Ty, don't buy that version of the game. I I get that, but even now, seventy bucks is crazy because a lot of us are just still used to the free to play because a lot of stuff mm-hmm. we've been playing is free to play. But the Star Wars single player games are good. I do think it'll sell. My my only problem is with Ubisoft. What have they done good recently? Like, what have you been like, yo, Ubisoft is dropping a game. I can't wait. Dude, Skull and Bones is great. Let us know if you're still playing Skull and Bones. <laughs> no one. No one. Is. Like, I, so it's just like, yeah, we're, you're in shambles. Ubisoft is one of those companies I think fell off. It used to be yeah. massive. Like, oh, snap, Ubisoft is dropping a game. Let's get it. And now it's like, no. <laughs> No, I'll pass on that. So, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are we crazy? Are we not? Are you super hyped for it? Are you kind of like, ah, oh, let me just see how the game plays out and see some reviews, and then maybe I'll buy it, which is completely up to you. I, I don't think it's exclusive or anything. But, like, speaking of exclusives, Xbox is starting. They're like, next gen is, has begun. Why? We're on the works. No. So, and it's... At that point, just go buy your PC. It doesn't make any sense. A new console for, like... Because the, these old ones that just came out are, yeah. like, what, around... The cheapest you can get is, like, what, 600 500 Is it really? It's, still? Four, it's like, 499 but plus tax, it's almost $600. Holy smokes, At that point, why not, just, why not just buy a PC? I... Yeah. But is it easier to, for a kid to ask, like... For Christmas, most yeah. kids these days want PCs. I yeah, I, I get like, that. I are, agree as well. Kids are learning. Like most kids are like, I want a PC, not a console. Because even they know, like, the, like yeah. competitive wise, take Fortnite. Yeah, they know it's it's better to play. You know, on a, but the, mom, the frame rates and this yeah. isn't that. Yeah. My ping and the zero. Yeah, and they they watch, blah, 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 I gotta take his wall Netflix, first. They watch a bunch of the uh, new kid, Peter Bot, whatever his name is. Yeah. It's like going insane right now. You know, they know Peter dropping 40 bombs. They know PCs like way like better. So most kids want PCs now and not a console. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Justin's right. You put, you put, he's like, people are spending nearly 1K on like uh, a brand new console. For what? But it's like, just buy, just buy a new thing. I just don't know if it's easier for a kid to ask for like, yo, can I get the new Xbox what? for Christmas as opposed to like, yo, can I get a yeah, PC? I, I get it, but like, my yeah. advice to the, the kid is, is be like, if your mom and dad's like, nah, that's way too expensive. If it's the same price, just like. Yeah, if it's the same price, then go with the PC. Yeah, just get it, get it pre-built. And we got ours, NZXT Black Friday, right, what, 1200 yeah. Oh, yeah, around 1200 Yeah. Uh, my, my advice to a kid is if he wants the PC instead of the Xbox, see how much they're willing to pay for the Xbox. 
and then you're gonna have to pay the difference. But like, but I I would say it's worth it, a hundred percent. The thing is, P, you can get a cheap PC now for as low as eight hundred dollars. Yeah, you can. And you like you can, and you can upgrade. You think it like as Alienware? Time, as times go, not yeah, but yeah, you know their brand is like not the best. But like as time as time goes on, you upgrade. You know, next yeah. Christmas asks for a new motherboard, a new RAM, or a new you know. And as that's true. That, like that PC from eight hundred, you was almost that's a twelve hundred dollar, fifteen hundred dollar yeah, PC. As time goes on. You know, yeah, I mean that's a good point. Like come your birthday, use your own money, and just as time goes on, upgrade it. Yeah, work work a couple like overshifts at work, and then be like, yeah, no, right. I can upgrade my graphics card. Or like your birthday, be like, yo, can I swap the motherboard? Like I want this. Exactly. Instead of buying, don't buy a console. I think that's. If a, you I think want, that's a I mean, idea. I don't. I mean, I'm sure there's still some console stands. There's still. Yeah. Like what an Xbox? I okay, we play Xbox. Yeah. We oh, for years and PC. <laughs> so it's like it's not like we've never been on yeah. it. Like, dude, I I have hours and hours and hours on my Xbox and PlayStation. I'm not gonna lie. If I were to buy a console, a new console, it would be a PlayStation and not an Xbox. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's nothing like like okay, for like exclusives, I get it. That's all we get a PlayStation for. What am I getting an Xbox for? I don't know, dude. I think 360 had an era. And then it just has fanboys. And that's no dumpster fire on the 360. The 360 was the console at the time. Right. Because of Halo and COD and all these exclusives. But PlayStation now gets your exclusives for COD. PlayStation yeah, now has Naughty Dog. I'm PlayStation saying. has this. Like, then why even buy an X- Xbox? Like, Xbox bought Bethesda and they thought, like, we thought they were going to come knocking down doors and launch Starfield. When was the last time you saw someone play Starfield? You have a better chance of seeing someone online play Skyrim again than mm-hmm. Starfield. It's crazy. And that's, that's just like, that's just a valid point. So it's, if I'm a company selling my rights to Xbox now, why am I? Who's buying your consoles now? Like, no one's switching from PlayStation to Xbox. No, like, but I, I, w- I think there are probably maybe people that will buy, have an Xbox and be like, all right, I want to get a PlayStation for this game or DLC right, and yeah. stuff like this. So I don't, mm. That's my that's my initial thought on that. Like Spider Man Two for the PS Five, Spider Man for the PS Five. If if they drop another Uncharted or they drop another Naughty Dog, if you want that, if you don't want that and you just want multiplayer exclusives, they have Destiny for people that still play Destiny. They have COD exclusives. Sometimes their maps and DLC come out there first and all this stuff. So it's what well, well Xbox we we still have Halo. It's not the same. Halo. I've got friends with Halo tattoos that don't play the game anymore. <laughs> Shout out to you, Justin. Shout out. But it's true. Like, even that, it's like, yeah, it, it's not the same. They're not All even, right. like, and with talks of Halo possibly coming over to PlayStation and stuff and Xbox moving their exclusives. All right. I'm just going to stick with PlayStation then. <laughs> I know. Like, what's the point of buying an Xbox? So that's, I mean, that's my, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If some of you are, are younger and you're like, yeah, this is why I have to get a console. Uh, I get it. Let me know. Uh, if, I'll be understanding. If, if a new console well, comes out, let me let us know what console you'd get: PlayStation or Xbox, PS or Xbox, <laughs> Game Pass or what's PlayStation's thing? PlayStation Plus. Is it still PlayStation Plus? Yeah. Like, if they get Game Pass, then why? get xbox i don't know and the problem is because every company wants their dang subscription thing now ubisoft plus dude are you serious like what is is that doesn't i can't remember if like epic games or like some other companies have some stuff like this as well there i think there's an activision one as well dude no one is buying your stuff i know like ea has ea access yeah 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 it's partnered with game pass actually yeah if you have game pass have ea access i do know that so that's just like it's just nobody's buying Ubisoft Plus. But what if the game like I don't know, unless they're like Ubisoft is now partnering with Xbox, so you can get Ubisoft Plus, which means you get no. what exactly? <laughs> Three day early access? I don't know. It's good for content creation. If not, like it's not worth it. Uh, so again, let us know which console you're picking in the comments, or if you just would want a PC. PC. I, I believe you. More power to you. Stands right here. Oh, what do we got next to go over? Cheek, what is this? This dude sent me something about a heating glove to, like, prevent, <laughs> to help you sweat in video games. Dude, I don't know what I was. I was in a dark trails of Twitter. I, and we're going to get on. We're going to talk about Power World's <laughs> PvP after this, so stay with us. And uh, I just see, I think it was face sensor with the heated glove on his hand. I'm like, dude, dude there's no way. This dude. is a troll, right? This has to be a joke. 
But it's an actual thing. Companies making a, a heated glove for like gamers to like play longer or something like that for like better gameplay. For it's like for pros to like last longer. <laughs> this is an a Trojan commercial. And I was like, what do your pros need to last longer for? <laughs> I like, was like, are their hands deteriorating? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, what's happening to their, their hands? Their hands not like getting Dano snapped in I, the middle of like, like a what tournament. What's going on? So I read into it, and this guy's like, it basically it just warms your hand. Chat, if any of you buy this magma glove, I hope you get that's, bullied. That's all it does. I'm like, oh, it's, a, it's just a hand warmer, basically. So it keeps your hand at a stable temperature so it doesn't get colder or, like, too warm. There's no get, way people buy this. There's no sweaty. way. That's all it is. Because he tried to make it sound, like, scientific. So and, and so I was like, dude, it's thing. literally just keep your hand at one temperature the entire time. That's all it's doing. That is it. Why, if your hands get cold, don't you just hit it with the... <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> oh, there we go. My hand's warm. Or, like, sit on it, it or makes, something like it, that. It made it sound like, oh, your hand just, like, your gameplay just goes from 100 to, like, 10 when that happens to you. First like, off, Face Sensor, what have you been doing? <laughs> like, uh, I, don't, I haven't heard of Face Sensor since Fortnite Death Runs. Yeah, I don't know what he's been I, doing. I don't know. But third off, don't buy this. There's no shot. Like, someone, dude, I can't believe someone in this chat was probably like, yo, like, this is it. Like, I'm going to win Fortnite Cash Cups if I'm wearing this. You're not, dude. You're not. It's not going to change. It. I, I would say anything. If you are that sweaty, then you need to put, like, deodorant on your hands. But, like, that, or, or, like, touch grass or go outside. Dumb money grab for no reason. That's almost as bad as Valkyrie's blue light cream. <sighs> dude, there's... No offense, Valkyrie. I love you. Yeah, I know. You would simp for her. That's as bad as a blue light cream. I'd rather buy thumb grips for my controller than <laughs> buy the glove. What? Like, I was like, what is this glove <laughs> right now? Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah. I Because it's just stupid. But Power dumb. World is launching their PvP mode, like an arena mode. Dude, that's going to be so much fun. Yeah? I'm probably sweaty as well, but I that's going to be so... What if you lose? What's up, bro? What's up, Isaac? What if you lose and you can take the other person's pal? Dude, that, that so, would be crazy. I hope that's how it works. Like you take, you pick a pal to take from your deck, or something like that. <laughs> Dude, it shall be so That'd much be disrespectful. Fun. I would get into that. Like I'd play that every day. But so there's like a 15 second trailer. But later on in the year, Power World is dropping their PvP. So essentially, you take your strongest pal or whatever and go in and guns blazing. I mean, they'll probably be like, I think, I think there might have been like a one to three v three. Like uh, like a one v one all the way up to like three v three and stuff like that for for Pal World. So I don't, I didn't play it. Uh, you guys did. I watched. I watched a lot of people play it. And a lot of, just like a lot of time watching mm -hmm. people. But would you hop back on? Yes. Oh Are yeah. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so much fun. Just duel people in in Pal World. No. I troll a lot of people. What do you mean you troll Dude, them? How do you troll them in Pal Dude, World? There's both be, There's gonna be a lot of hacks, and I will play. And I will figure out every hack possible and defeat everyone. There's gonna be someone that just comes and just stuns. Oh, uh, obviously, just, like just stun, stun, yeah, stun. I'm just gonna be like sweats and like different like ways to just beat people randomly. But like, dude, it's gonna be so much fun. Especially when it first comes out. That's gonna be crazy. Ultimate Power World build for whatever <laughs> dude, for, the look, sheep, for the sheep. For the sheep. I will look up every build possible. <laughs> the first sheep pal you can get. No, Isaac said he'd carry in Power World. <laughs> dude, <laughs> Isaac knows. That would be that, so much fun. I Power World wait. ranked PvP. Dude, like. dude I, I, I'd be Apex Predator. They call it Power World Predator. Power World. <laughs> what if they just went full on troll and just like, just trolled every rank system with their, their ranking and stuff? What do you mean? Just like Valorant Radiant, they're like Power oh, World Radiant right. or Power they World just Predator. Like copy like different names like people are already accusing them of. Yeah, that's funny though. I think I think it may pick up uh, a little bit when it drops yeah, for again. Sure. But they probably have to drop some like uh, P more PVE content with it. I would think to keep yeah. people in. I I don't know. Is there like a broken pal that you'd be like, yo, this thing's legendary. Like if you take this in, I'm gonna clap. I mean, the what's the what's the final pal? The Mega Dragon. That thing was the most OP thing in the game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. If you caught that, that was just the best pal to have. It was fast and it dealt a lot of damage. But. Justin said he's building his sheep all the way up to <laughs> deep. The default sheep. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Just straight remember. defense. Uh, imagine going against the one of these. This max has the max attacks uh, stats for your sheep. 
just one shot people with the sheep. Uh, just, just imagine. imagine though, like you go up against someone and then it's like a ranked game and just they just have the sheep only, <laughs> just stack and you can't do damage because the defense is so high. Dude, that that'd be funny. That would or be... have a cat, was it the Captiva the cat? Yeah, just like Captiva. just kill one shot just someone like, with it. <laughs> yeah. Just to scratch, just one attack, just kills people. That'd be so much fun. That's gonna be crazy to see. Imagine you're just flying on your dragon though. That I, I, dude, I can't wait. Or you're that... like on the back of the the big guy with the guns, just Grizzbolt. Just, yeah. just destroying people. Yo, how you think Matt's gonna do in Power World? No. <laughs> what? Do you... Matt, Matt, no, Matt. Mad. One v one cheek and power will Matt, be Matt would rage. I <laughs> would <laughs> break the game. He probably has it uninstalled right now. Probably. It's like Destiny. <laughs> that's true. That's true. He has been grinding Destiny a lot. Oh, we gotta hop over to 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 some movies and TV. Holy cow! What do we start with? Frankenstein with Christian Bale, Fantastic Four, Joker two. Um, any preference? Frankenstein and Christian Bale, I think he looks amazing. This will be quick. Yeah, with Frank, there's not a lot added. But the thing is, though, there doesn't have to be a lot because yeah. Christian Bale is one of those actors. When he played Gore in Thor, yeah, like, dude, like, yeah. that was that. When I saw that, I sort of like reminded me of like how he. Yeah, that's that. true. And I was like, dude, he's gonna he's gonna play very well. It's a good role. Christian Bale always does good, though. It's one of those yeah. guys that it's like, I I think if there was someone else in this role as Frankenstein, that I'd oh. kind of be like. Ah, there's a couple actors that I'd be like, all right, they're going to kill it. But if there's some people, but like Bale just brings it. So yeah, I'm kind of like, all right, well, now I have hope because I have respect for Bale and his acting career. Maggie Gyllenhaal is directing it, which she, uh, funny enough, she played Rachel in uh, Batman, which is when Bale was also oh, yeah, playing Batman. Cool. So then, so they do have some chemistry in the past. I don't know how she is with her directing skills. I have no idea. Maybe she's maybe she'll what's cook movie, with it. What's the movie called? The Bride. Yeah. Yeah, The Bride. Yeah. So the movie's called The Bride, and it's essentially Frankenstein going to, um, I think it was a town. It might have been like Chicago or something. Not, I guess, not quite Frankenstein yet. Uh-huh. But then falls in love, and I guess like builds his wife. But they're probably gonna take it like, I'm hoping like a murder mystery twist, kind of like a psycho, mm-hmm. like he's cutting up these women and like building them together kind right. of almost like a silence I, of the lambs I saw, thing. like she dies and then she gets resurrected and then a bunch of i don't know it was weird they didn't really talk too much about it yeah it'll it'll be interesting to see and that's kind of the story of frankenstein as it is and stuff's kind of dark and twisted but i don't know like you could see his costume design looks so it good looks, it looks the tattoos really, really everything good. engraved the design yeah. the scars how he's sewn together it looks really good the bride looks good because what if it's like he's actually this this murderer and stuff and then later on like he mutilates himself but then all these girls that he liked he liked this girl because of her personality and this girl because of how she looked and this girl because of this but he like kills them and cuts them up and like uh-huh. sewn them together Yo. <laughs> and then that's the wife <laughs> that's crazy like I think I think that'd be an interesting twist on uh the Frankenstein story and how it works and everything. Uh, otherwise you're just you're just in for a normal Frankenstein movie, which is fine. We haven't had one for ages. Uh, not one at least that I'd be interested in. But with, like Christian Bale and stuff in this movie, I, he, he's not taking a script right now that's kind of dull or boring. It's just not him. So there's got to be something to this film that's good. He's played American Psycho in the past. That is true. I forgot about that. So this. Isn't exactly the same, but if they need him to play a psycho killer murderer that does crazy yeah, stuff, he's got it. He's got that villain arc. Bro's in there, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, there's not a lot out about it, so subscribe because we're gonna keep you guys yeah. up to date as more comes out. And when the trailer drops, of course, we'll do a trailer review. So let us know your thoughts on in the comments about this early stuff with uh, Bride and the Frankenstein movie with uh, Christian Bale and Maggie Gyllenhaal directing it. Let's jump over to. Oh, dude, I'm gonna go ballistic. I'm gonna go absolute ballistic. Fantastic Four. That's all Casting. You, bro. The castings came out a little bit ago. A little bit of controversy. Some people were like, I don't know how I feel about Pedro Pascal being Mr. Fantastic. He's a great actor. Maybe this role doesn't fit him. Understandable. There was controversy kind of with the Human Torch casting. It was like, why this guy? Who was it again? I forgot his name, but he was from uh, Stranger Things and everything like that. I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't know. He was the, the guy from the latest season oh, and stuff. Then- the Eddie? guitar guy? Yeah. Eddie, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember if his name was Eddie or whatever. But, like, so he is playing the Human Torch. But there's also good castings, like uh, The Thing and uh, Sue Storm and stuff. But they've just released, I guess. Joseph Queen as Johnny Storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, Stranger Things. 
People are like, yo, bro's not hot enough. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy. Imagine getting the role and then getting cooked like that. Like, Vanessa come on. Kirby from, uh... Yeah, Vanessa Kirby's uh, Sue Storm. Fate and the Furious Summer? Did you watch that? No. <laughs> no, she's, dude. She's from that. No. She was, she's Jason Statham's sister in it. <sighs> yeah, she is. I think, she, I think she'll do fine. She's not my yeah. main concern. But now they just put out, yo, Silver Surfer's in the movie. Let's go. Awesome, because he's a, sometimes a big part of the Fantastic Four. By the way, I forgot the actress's name, but she'll, she'll be she's from Ozarks and stuff. Great actress, by the way. Killer. She'll be playing the Silver Surfer, and people Ju- are just like... Julia Garner. Yeah, and people are just like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> like, what do you, normally she is the love interest of Silver Surfer uh-huh. in the comics and stuff like that. And then that, that's the main reason of Silver Surfer. He's talking to Galactus. Galactus is like, yo, I'm going to destroy all this stuff. And he's like, yo, I will do your bidding. You just keep me... And, like, my girlfriend, my crush, alive. And that's why Silver Surfer is out destroying all these planets, right. essentially for love. W. Riz on his part. W. Riz. But now the roles are kind of reversed. And there is... I will give it this, if this is what they are doing. So listen up. It's just a theory. The Fantastic Four happens. Pre-multiverse and everything going on, right? Let's say back in, like, the 60s. Because there is ideas that the movie is set kind of back in an older time. And in that universe, the Silver Surfer is a female. But then at the end of the movie, and they come forward to the current MCU and our timeline, those roles switch. Oh, I see what you're saying. So that could be what they are doing, and I hope that's what they are doing. And then coming out with this casting would also stir controversy and stir up people talking about the movie for Fantastic Four coming out. It's a while away. That I would get. That would make sense. Then where they're thrown into the whole timeline thing and those two roles switch and that's what's different in this world than the other worlds. But if not, dude, you know like this casting is going to cause controversy. It's like, is there comics where Silver Surfer is a female? Yes. Yeah. Are those people dying to see it in a movie? No. You know your audience. It's like if they said, Cheek, the next Spider-Man movie, Zendaya will be playing Spider-Man now. And Tom is the love interest. What? Well, are there comics where stuff like this happens? Yeah. Do people want to see it? No, no really. dude. <laughs> like, we don't. No one does. No one is in the comments section of these posts like, yeah, women's rights with Marvel. Like, it's just not a thing. <laughs> women's rights. Madam so, Web. So I know comic-wise it happens. I, I get that. I'm aware. I, I've read a lot of comics and stuff. I'm, I, I'm a nerd. I get it. But you know doing this casting is going to cause controversy and people aren't going to like it. Why is it so hard to cast it like accordingly? Because, I don't know. They do what they want. Directors are like, let's try this. And not the way it's supposed to be written. Let's try this instead. But the thing is, you're not at your peak right now to where you can make these kind of castings and people go, well, I'm just going to trust you, Marvel. You had us in Avengers and Civil War and like Spider-Man's movies and like Endgame and stuff. We're trusting your castings. But now it's like, uh, what are you doing? Like, what's happening? Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't. You guys don't have the same trust anymore. So it's kind of just, uh, who knows? So I'm, I'm curious how it'll play out. We don't have a trailer yet. We don't have the full storyline yet. They, I'm assuming Galactus will be some type of it. Maybe that's how they'll bring in like a bigger threat and maybe secret wars and stuff like that. This casting is just odd. Fantastic actress, again. I'm sure she'll do okay. It's just why. Like, you know your fan base yeah. is going to be torn. You know no one wants this. No one's dying. No one's going to be pissed if they come out like, you're Fantastic Four. And here's a Silver Surfer. Uh, sorry, we're making him a male. No one's going to be like, no. <laughs> I wanted her from those two comics where the roles were switched. I wanted a female this entire time. Like, so, like, it's, just, it's just interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let us know in the comments. Like, what is your hype for Fantastic Four now? Has it dropped since the castings came out? Or was it up at one point? And now this casting came out and you're kind of like, yeah, I'm a little bit worried. You're just questioning it. Like, huh? You're just confused? Yeah, like, I've, I've, I'm kind of concerned about this. To, do they actually know what they're doing? Are they about to destroy another, like, franchise of characters and stuff? Hopefully not. But I guess we'll see when the story comes out. We'll see. Well, there is something else because they wanted to tie it in to Deadpool 3. Oh, okay. With Silver Surfer and some stuff like that. And Ryan Reynolds was like, No. He essentially was like, dude, you're not putting this stuff in my movie. He's like, Marvel has already had a lot of losses as it is. You throw this in my movie, and you're just going to tank it. Mm-hmm. Um, not as, I guess tank it's not the right word. 
But then you start throwing it in, and then people are like, oh, I guess Ryan's sold out too. Right. Like, what else do, what else, uh, do they have in that movie that they're just not showing us? Uh-huh. Or like, oh, were they just, was Deadpool 3 just going to put out a trailer and not tell us all this weird stuff is in it? But so Ryan's like, dude, Kevin Feige, get that, like, get that out of my movies. I, I don't want it in mine. Let me finish up Deadpool 3 how I want to finish up. And I don't really want, like, an end credit or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Kind of. And uh, much respect. So Ryan Reynolds for standing on business because thank goodness. Cause what if they were just like, here's a bag, let's just put whatever we want in there. And then just like all this random stuff happens. And it's like, Oh no. Well now she holds back in. Uh, and you're just like, why are you in here? And it's just, it's just stupid stuff. It's a bunch of random writing for this. No reason. Yeah. So Ryan Reynolds, thank you. Please continue to stand on business for Deadpool three when it comes out. Silver surfer. Dude, you better do what I said with that flip. That better be your excuse for it. And maybe you're just doing marketing right now for the movie coming out. So, I mean, we're talking about it. People are talking about it. Social media is talking about it. Yeah. But better flip when you come to our timeline. And the next person you have to cast great is Dr. Doom. Who's it going to be? Killian Murphy. <sighs> he could, though. Please. He could. But I don't know if he wants to sign a contract for like nah, three, four, bro. five, six years. I mean, unless he's got something else going on. But, like, he would be a good He Dr. might. Doom. There's some people that are just like that are just like fans and like yeah, yeah like let's run it like this will be cool this will be fun i don't know if i've ever seen killian ever mention or like and in any interviews like yo like i want to be like in the mcu for something like that mm-hmm. some actors are like kind of just be a cameo because it's just like fun it's something right, like yeah. cool to do and like hang out with people and stuff like that like there was um oh and, and i think the third thor there was like thor's brother made yeah, like a cameo Damon, appearance yeah yeah oh and matt damon yeah, yeah, like just for fun because they like the people and hanging out with their friends but I haven't heard Killian say anything like that. I don't know who else to play Doctor Doom. I'd honestly have to like I don't really know look around and look at fan castings and stuff like that. But that's gotta be a, that's gotta be a big one because that's probably gonna be like their next Thanos or whatever. And unless they they're doing everything with Kang still. No. At least uh, at least Kang's not going to jail. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's man. crazy. Kang. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Majors, Jonathan I guess, Majors. isn't going to jail for all of his stuff and everything like that. Yeah. GG's, he's about to share himself with Diddy, but. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's wild. It's a Yo! Wild Let us know in the comments who you want fan casted as Dr. Doom. Let's move on to Joker 2. Thoughts on the trailer? I don't know. Like, it wasn't like crazy, but it wasn't like bad. I don't know. Yeah. I was listening to the middle. I was like, okay, what's it? It looked like a teaser trailer than a trailer trailer, if that makes sense. Yeah. When I watched it. Which I'm not complaining. They didn't, like, rele- reveal, like, anything. But, like, that's what it was to make a teaser. Like, oh, this is what's happening. Like, a, just a quick glance of what it's going to be, kind of. But not showing too much. Yeah, so typically Harley Quinn um, is usually, before she's Harley Quinn, is Joker's, like, therapist, kind of. Right, and that's yeah. when she ends up falling in love. And, and then their arc starts. This time around, it looks like she's in the uh, the asylum with them, and that's kind of how they build their relationship and love interest and stuff like that. Um, the problem is the whole musical aspect of it, which is what right. a lot of people are saying. There's what 15 songs in this movie as of right now. I think it was. Is that, is that what it says? Yeah, I guess it's not 100 percent confirmed because we we haven't watched it yet. But I guess how long is we supposed to be? Two hours. Two hours fifteen, I guess. Like I said, it's got to be more than that. How long was the last Joker? I feel like it was longer than two. It hours. was a long movie. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's gonna be long as well. Which the last Joker was one of the highest rated R movies of all time, yeah. uh, box office wise and stuff like that. So I mean, this one will do good, but the thing is, like, it's fifteen songs is crazy. That is that's true. Songs. Uh, and I get it. a lot of it will probably be in their head, not through the actual movie, but like ah, and it's kind of like maybe they're doing something and. It's in their head, and those two are singing it together. Maybe it doesn't actually happen in the world that they're in and stuff like yeah. that. But it's going to depend on how you do it. Now, Todd Phillips, the director, full-on respect, then. He, like, he's, he's earned my trust with The Last Joker, so I trust he knows what he's doing with this one. Joaquin Phoenix. I don't think if they completely 180 the movie, they're like, yo, Joaquin, I know it's a Joker movie, but we're bringing Lady Gaga in, and here's 15 songs with Thone in the movie. Uh-huh. You'd almost be like, am I a backseat <clears throat> character in this movie now? Right. Why am I the Joker and why am I singing? Yeah, I'm sure there's something we, like, we just don't know. They're, like, they're hiding. Like, I don't think it's going to be an awful movie. Yeah. But, 
So that's 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 my thought. Like I I don't think Joaquin signs on for a second Joker movie. Yeah, and it's a to to flop it. Yeah, I like. There's no way. I don't think Todd Phillips goes from directing the the biggest box office rated R movie ever to then like ah let me just try so let me just what if we made it a musical yeah. what what would happen so there has to be something we don't know yet and mm-hmm. maybe it'll tie in and when we do the review on the movie when it comes out like October fourth it'll be like. Well, I they killed it with it. That, yeah. They killed it. Like they, they knew what they were doing and what and everything. But on the outside, and all you're seeing is this, and then like scenes in the trailer with them dancing, scenes in the trailer of like him holding the microphone and stuff like that about to sing. You're kind of like, uh, <laughs> I like I, I don't full on believe it's gonna be a musical, but I hope not. I do think a lot of it's gonna be inside their heads, like psychotic mm-hmm. scenes and right. stuff. The, the the only question I have, and some of you let us know in the comments, who's the protagonist? Like, who's the bad guy to tell this story? I, like, I don't know. Is it society? Like, is that, is that the route they're going with? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Know. I just don't know. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Because usually, like, for a story, there's going to be, like, like, a bad guy. Is it, is it, like, society the way it treats, like, uh, ment- mentally unstable people or something like that? Or I... So that's my, I don't want to say it's a concern. That's my only question. Uh, Maybe that's a good thing going into the film. You don't know, but I, I don't know. Like if you had to think of an idea, like, yeah, this is I probably. I didn't think about that. But, huh. I, like, I mean, I see Harley, I see Joker. I, I don't think there'll be a lot of, there's some action in this movie. But also the other thing is, and I watched some other people do like reviews on it and say this as well. Joker is a big character in the Batman universe in Gotham City. No part of me makes me believe he's in Gotham City. Like there's in this movie, a, yeah. I don't. I'm not saying you have to have Batman in it, but it's <laughs> like if you were to tell someone to watch this and they were to watch it, they wouldn't even think they're in Gotham City. There's nothing that relates to her, like Crime Underworld uh-huh. or like Bell, the Crime Unders and all that stuff going on. So I don't know if that's a problem or not for some people, but it's. I mean, it is true. It is a Joker movie. Right. right. It should be in Gotham City. Yeah. But it's just. Aside from them straight up telling you in the movie, like, yo, we're in Gotham City. Like, right. there's nothing that ties me in to believe, like, it's Gotham to City. build me in the world of Gotham uh-huh. City and Joker. So, I don't know. that that That's two of just thoughts of mine. I was like, oh, that is a good idea. Like, uh, I'm just watching a psychotic guy walk around all the time. <laughs> but I I think it'll be good. I Again, good actors and stuff like that and a good director. I don't think they're coming out making a second one um, just to let it flop. I think there's some people, too, actor-wise – that like you, you couldn't even you couldn't pay a bag for I think at some point to like ruin their work, mm-hmm. uh, and Joaquin's kind of at the top of his game right now. I I don't know personally or interviews or anything. I just don't feel like he's the type of guy to knock a stellar performance out of the park and like yo would you flop that performance and make it bad for like ten mil? Maybe he would, maybe he wouldn't. But there's some people that actually like like wouldn't do that. Like I don't know if you could pay Christian Bale to come back as Batman. No. Like that's the like that's the thing. Yeah. The, I I don't think you could pay him. I think if you convinced him to do it as like a multiverse thing to come in and say hi or whatever. Mm-hmm. But not like but a I, Batman yeah. movie and all that. Yeah. yeah. So that's just that's just uh, my thoughts on that. Again, I, it's probably gonna be good. We'll have to see. Um, do I think it'll break the box office and beat the last Joker? No. I, I I don't think so either. I think it'll be close. Do um, I think Deadpool 3 will, will beat both of them at the box office? Yeah, I, I think Deadpool 3 is going to crush both of them box office-wise and money and everything. So that's that's my final thoughts on that. Uh, let's see. Let's wrap up with Fallout does come out today. So those of you watching, this is the 10th. Uh, subscribe because I'm going to be doing reviews on the episodes and everything like that. just want to let you guys know because it did come out a day early, which is awesome. But Daredevil also wrapped up filming. There's been like... Um, the Punisher's back. Looks like Bullseye's back. Um, Foggy Nelson's back. And the other girl, I can't remember her name. Looks like she's back and stuff. And uh, Cox. Charlie Cox, I believe his name, playing Daredevil, is back. You watched you watch them on Netflix, right? Yeah. Daredevil. Yeah, I did. Would you put that in top three Marvel shows? Shows? Yeah, Marvel's top. Like, top three Marvel shows. Netflix is Daredevil. 100% yes. Who else? What else would you I think so as well. I'm not. I'm not. I think I'm trying to think of a top three. Well, Loki's top three. I feel like. Yeah, I think Loki would be up there. I think Daredevil would be up there. Loki. What about... You're not getting Falcon and Winter Soldier. That was garbage. No. 
I don't think Hawkeye's making it up there. The newer ones, like Luke Cage, they got up there. Nah, there's no way. When was the last person that you, that you were like, yo, Luke what, Cage was what, banging, right? Uh, I'm think of Actually, what would my top Punisher? three even be? Um, Punisher. Yeah, that one's got to go up there because because Burnthal did such a good job. Yeah, yeah, so that may go up there. Um, yikes. Yeah. That's about it. Marvel they're, shows are pretty mid. Yeah, Holy not, smokes. They're not that good. Unless you want to put Wanda, WandaVision up there. I don't think anyone's throwing WandaVision up there. I mean, I'm not saying it's good, but like in the top three. Yeah. I, I would take Punisher over WandaVision. I would too. Um, I, dude. But Deadpool, for, I literally is number one for me. That show was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that too. The thing is, the, the way Charlie Cox does Blind Daredevil is so good. Uh, Daredevil, yeah, is so is so good. But also, his surrounding cast is also like really good with their like roles and stuff and the villains and everything. Uh -huh. John Bernthal as Punisher, dude, kills it. Like, yeah, kill it. I mean, it's we got plenty of memes out of it. But uh, I'm excited that he's coming back. I don't. Do we think it's gonna be? It's gonna be good. I think it'd be okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think it's going to end up like the rest of the Marvel shows that came out? That's the only thing. That's my only concern. I don't think so. Because right now it's taking over the crime un uh, underground world and stuff with everything as Kingpin leading. I think Bullseye is coming back. I think Daredevil's gonna Daredevil's obviously going to be in it. Uh, Punisher's going to be in it. And I think it may tie in at the end. There's been rumors, so this isn't confirmed, but tying it at the end with Spider-Man 4 because uh -huh. they want Spider-Man 4 to be a more grounded movie and, and the crime underworld and stuff like that as opposed to like another multi-dimensional one and everything. So, um, Kingpin, Vincent D'Onofrio does a fantastic job as Kingpin as well. Super good. So, all the casting is there for Daredevil right. uh, Born Again. I mean, based on the casting, I think this show will be pretty good. I think so as well. The only problem is, like, with newer Marvel stepping in, like, is that something that's going to be as long as there's no in weird, the way, there's essentially? There's no weird stuff in there, you know? You know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I don't... Foggy and Daredevil start dating. <laughs> like, what? Like, dude, I'm no, being honest. You no, know what I'm saying? No weird stuff in there, Marvel. No... Like Punisher, no Punisher and Daredevil like make out, like, nothing crazy and then and then and then Punisher's like, "Yo, you taste like She-Hulk." Because stop watching it immediately. The like, dude, we saw Daredevil last time we saw him was in She-Hulk, clapping her cheeks. Right. Dude, that's the that's my concern. Like, bro, oh, like dude. there's no. there's no way. No. I better not see him like fighting and then like FaceTiming like She-Hulk. Like, yo, sorry, like. There's probably gonna be some weird. Like, like yo, leave me there's, alone. There's like, definitely gonna be some weird like scene like that in there. I guarantee there will be. Unfortunately. So for that's us, my that's my only concern. Unfortunately for us, there will be. I think all the actors are gonna continue to bring their A game, and I think all the actors thoroughly enjoy playing like their roles and stuff. And you could tell when they're watching. Like, I think John Bernthal like loves playing the Punisher uh -huh. and stuff like that. I think Charlie Cox loves playing uh, Daredevil and everything like that. So the, the and Vincent D'Onofrio is because killer as Kingpin. But the story, I don't know what it's going to be. But I do like the idea of it being an underground world and crime and all this stuff. Get the choreographer from Daredevil Season 1. Dude, you're in charge of all the choreography. That hallway scene is so oh, good. It's so the iconic. The way they fight and all this stuff. It's still talked about till today. It is. Like, it's one of the best fight scenes in Marvel. Yeah. Especially hand-to-hand -hand combat-wise. Like, that's crazy. So bring him back. Give him his job. And, and, and like, some of you weird higher-ups at Marvel... Just take a step back on this one, please, dude. You are going to lose so much, lose, like, a lot of respect and trust that, like, you barely have right now with, if, if you make Daredevil and, like, mess it up like this. Because I think, I think they can make it, like, a rated M or rated R or whatever. Because mm -hmm. they did that with Echo. They made it, like, rated R and stuff. Did you watch Echo? No. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Wait, why? I would rather watch Madam Web. No, dude. Are you, did I watch Echo? No. He said you better watch Mario and Web. Nobody Echo. was like, then when they announced Echo, no one was like, yeah, we've been waiting for this show. No, dude. Like, yeah. you just wanted to, like, throw it out there for whatever stuff you wanted to do. Echo was garbage.
Uh, but I, uh, Daredevil, you, you got to knock it out of the park. If you knock it out of the park, you're going to start to see fans like, is Marvel coming back? Mm -hmm. Do they have this? Like, can't do they got momentum again? Like, you got motion? Like, <laughs> is motion back? But if it drops, then it's like, all right, we're done. A lot of people are already done. This is your chance to bring some people back. But if you flop it, uh, you're cooked. I, I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Like, your your fans are going to be completely upset. So let us know in the comments. Like, do you have hope for Daredevil? I agree. All the casting is good. They got to do good on the story. And then they got to do good. I mean, with the fight scenes and choreography and everything like that. Because that is Daredevil at the ground level. Some of these Marvel shows, though, I'll throw this in as we wrap it up. They've got, like, a new director every episode. Or, like, or like a writer. So then it's, like, a writer, but he wants to throw, like, his little twist on it. So then mm -hmm. it's, like, what are we doing? And then there's not one cohesive story by one guy with one vision. It's Because She-Hulk was, like, this is written by this female director. Right. Now, this female director is writing this one. But for this week's episode, it's, so it's, like, you, you have no cohesion right. between the episodes. So it's... Is uh, Moon Knight coming back? Uh, I don't think so as of right now. He may make an appearance on like Secret Wars or something like uh -huh. that, but I don't think he's coming back for a, for a while and stuff. I don't even know if I'd put that in my top three. I forgot about that movie. I I don't know why. It just came in. I saw a clip about it yeah. the other day. And I was like, oh, I forgot about that show. Yeah, that's bad then. I mean, that, that's like that's. Ba it's not the worst Marvel. No, dude, but... it's not the worst. But it's like I don't it's know. Just mid. A lot yeah. of the shows aren't, aren't that great. That might that might wrap up this week's uh, episode. Unless you got anything closing thoughts for like Daredevil. No. Wrapped up filming. As long as, like I said, there's no weird stuff. No. Uh, like if Foggy comes out and no he's had a boyfriend this whole time. Extra, like, I Dude, we know you did I'm, it. I'm like, trying stop, to not like, say, But no weird stuff and I'll watch it. This just in. This is. Uh, I can. And now. Get that out of my daredevil. Don't don't yeah. let that come anywhere near it. Keep Get that it out. the way it's supposed to be. And and keep it bloody. Keep yeah. it bloody. Like that's what made it dark, gritty, and realistic. Like the dude's getting patched up with holes in him, like trying to fight. But then like later on you'll see like him leaking no blood. PG still through 13 it. Daredevil. Yeah, dude, don't do that. M or R. Don't Actually, do that. They won't do R. It's Marvel. <sighs> it's not possible. <laughs> But make it for that it's audience. Disney, then. I mean, not Marvel. It's like, in Disney, so they won't. They will not do R. It's not even. It's not even possible. We can't even think about yeah. R rated. It's either gonna be rated for mature or PG. <sighs> make it mature, dude. <laughs> if you <laughs> PG, you nerf it. If you <laughs> if PG, you it nerf it. It will not be R. I guarantee. There's no way to make a show and it's R rated. Yeah. On Disney Plus, dude. It's I not know. Not even possible. And that's the problem. <laughs> like, that's that's literally the problem. Their uh, Echo was their first rated m show mm -hmm. and i think it had like two drops of blood <laughs> it's like you can't like that's that's gonna happen in the first five seconds of daredevil i don't know let us know your thoughts in the comments who do you want to see as a villain return besides bullseye and uh uh the punisher and stuff because kingpin's apparently is going to be wrapping up criminals and stuff like yeah. this to start this whole underground civil war and take over like manhattan and new york which i'm excited to see so let us know your thoughts in the comments this was we had a lot to cover this week's episode from Star Wars to next-gen consoles flopping to games suck nowadays to f the Bride of Frankenstein. So let us know which one was your favorite co topic that we covered this week. And subscribe because we do have the follow episodes that I'll be reviewing as well. So you're going to want to hear that if you should watch the show or not. Early reviews are good. Early reviews are saying, yo, this yeah, thing's so far, killing it. Like, this is a great show. So, so I, dude, I'm probably going to watch an episode tonight. So hyped. fingers crossed. Yep. Uh, we'll see you guys in a couple days from now when we record the next episode. Peace.